help if I do. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. Did you guys enjoy your snacks tonight? Yeah, it was pretty good. I had a deviled egg and a peanut butter oatmeal thing. Yeah, so I have a salad later. It's saved for me. So anyway, we're just so glad that you're all here. And um, we want to welcome everyone that's at home. Even though you're not watching it live, you're gonna, can, you can watch it later. Um, the live stream's kind of being a stinker, but, you know, that's technology in our, our life. So how many of you um, uh, answered the question? We're not going to do the thing, but just, yeah. So that's really cool because a lot of us were very blessed to not lose power through all this wonderful ice storm. And others, I have my dearest friend in the world who I have always said that she was God's gift to me when we moved to Jackson back in 1978, when we moved to Jackson. And she is still my very, very, very best godly friend. They have not had power yet. As of this afternoon, she still didn't have power. So we count our blessings where we can, right? So anyway, if we um, have with our slides, we're going to have our pledge and start us off. Guys, there we go. Awesome. Who pledges? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so very, very much. So, you know, my, my winter reminder slide here is coming. Um, and I changed the headline of uh, winter is all over the place because think of how beautiful it was last Tuesday when we gathered. Wednesday, that ice storm hit and stayed horrible. And then it la slacked up and then we got a little bit more. And then that left off, and now we're supposed to get some more on Friday snow. So, you know, yeah. So winter is all over the place. So I am counting on us being back here next Tuesday. However, we will have to wait and see to what happens on Tuesday. But we're in Michigan, and it's winter. So, you know, we, we got to go with it. But make sure you look on Facebook or contact me if you're not sure next Tuesday, okay, if it looks iffy at all. But it's got to be 10 below or 10 degrees or below. Not 10 below, 10 below, yeah, we're definitely out. So anyway, so thank you for paying attention, and thank you for being thankful for the good weather that we are having, especially today. So we are now going to um, think about the fact that it is party night for February, the last Tuesday of the month, the last day of the month even, because February is that wonderfully short month which I feel cheated on when I pay my rent and all that stuff. I should get some days free in here, you know. It, it, even if it's only two, because it, they're normally 30 days at least, you know. But anyway, 28 days of February, today is it. Um, we have been having a wonderful uh, food stash, eating time, fellowship time, uh, with the food brought in. 
But now we're going to sing happy birthday. And I've got two slides of names, which is probably the least amount of names we've had in a long time. But we're going to sing. We're only going to sing the first names, even though their whole name is up there. Many of them, some of them you might not recognize the name at all. Um, because maybe they're not able to actually attend anymore for one reason or another. But they're still a part of our SNAP family. Okay? So that's what we want to always remember. And um, I will say that I didn't realize that Graceland was going to be here tonight with mom and dad. So unless somebody added her name, we're just going to start out singing happy birthday to Graceland before we sing the first name. Okay? Because I did not have her on my list. I apologize. All right? Are we ready to sing? I got to hear you. All right. You ready? All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gracelyn and Carrie and Mark and Michelle and Lamar and Joe and Phil and Jessica. Happy Happy birthday to you. Woo! You are like the greatest birthday choir ever. And all I can say is, is if you had a February birthday and you didn't tell me and your name is not up there, I am sorry. And I missed it. Okay, no, we need to sing one verse to Timmy. I, I missed it somehow. And, you know, now that I remember, you did have it written down. I am so very sorry. Okay, let's just sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Timmy. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Please accept my apologies, Timmers, because I really, I do remember seeing it now, and I do apologize. All right. Sorry. Whew. I need to write that in my book for next year, because I normally look back at the previous year. All right. So, um, did someone earn their tag? Hmm, that's next, huh? Yes, it is. Did someone here earn their tag? I don't know if someone did or not. I, I seem to have. Oh, I'm losing it all. I'm not sure. Thank you, dear. I'm not sure the one person is here. You just want to stay up here, so you might as well stay up here. Because I, this is the first time I've ever made one of these tags, but he has been so faithful and so a part of us here, not just sitting back, that I put junior friend because you're so young, okay? So everybody, this is Braylon Palmer, and uh, he has earned his tag very faithfully. He has been wonderfully a part of things. I, 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 it's a ceremony. Now may I turn around and just wait, face everybody, because we have to welcome you officially by saying our verse. All right? Are you ready? Everybody welcome him by saying our verse. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. In all your ways, remember him. Then he will make your path smooth and straight. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Welcome, sir. Woo! You may sit down. Thank you. And I just think that there's some people here that this is like their fourth time. So who knows what happens next week? Okay. Hint, hint. All right. Okay. So hopefully this person will be here next week, too. Yeah. All right, so I think we are totally ready to worship. Woo, yes. We have Caleb and Bill coming. They're going to lead us in worship. You may sit, you may stand, you may not talk on the phone, you may eat, finish eating your food if you want. You can read the words, sing the words, sing loud, sing to the Lord. That's the main thing. We are worshiping 
and these guys are going to lead us in a wonderful time. Thank you so very much. All right, let's worship.
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glory.
gentlemen so very much. We very much appreciate. And again, the words to these songs are just so amazing to us because if you stop and think about, you know, sometimes we feel like God let go of us. Like, where is he? Where'd he go? But he's there. You know, we have to make sure that we know that he is there. And sometimes we have to maybe concentrate a little more, which is hard to do sometimes, okay? Um, but when we pay attention to the words, whether we're singing um, or not, if you, yeah, you just want to um, realize that these songs are written in praise to our one and only God, and it's just uh, amazing, and we need the Holy Spirit more, and, and we have to allow him in, though. We, when we accept Christ, he comes in, but then to do a good work, we have to truly seek him out. So anyway, it's not message night, so I'll just drop that at there, but I will say, I, I got to ask the question, how's your faith goal working out? How is that faith goal working out? Are you working on things? Are you trusting more? I got told tonight that someone was reading their Bible more this week. And so, yeah, that's really great. And are you doing some faith goal stuff? What, are you working on it? It's going good. How about you, Brain? You're doing good? Good. You know, it's a step at a time, man. That's all it is. You know, um, I'll tease him because he's not paying attention. Gary's been eating more salad, you know, that's taking those steps, you know. <laughs> little little baby steps here and there, you know. You got you to gotta do it. And then he looked at the salad tonight, and he goes, yeah, I've had enough salad this week. <laughs> so, <laughs> one day of getting past, I don't know. But, you know, we we have to work at it every single day. That's the thing. And when we mess up, and we will mess up, we're just humans, we are not perfect, then you'd like, you know, you pick yourself up and you get going again. And you just trust God and help him, whatever that goal may be. I mean, it's, it doesn't necessarily have to be to your faith. I call it a faith goal because you have to have faith in God that you're going to make and get through to whatever it is you're working on, okay? So just keep working at it. Just keep going. Just keep trying, and uh, you'll get there. You know, we're, it's a year-long thing we're working on, so this is only the end of February. you still got 10 months to go, all right? So moving on, you guys might have thought I forgot this because I normally do it at the beginning, but um, do we have our next slide or not? There we go. I kind of hinted to this earlier, and you might have thought I was going to do it then, but nah, I fooled you. Uh, but the Facebook question, it was basically we were talking about how, I was talking about how, you know, the weather was so good for us last Tuesday, and it is again today, and, but so many, so many, many people are, are, have been without power, are still without power. Some had generators, most did not. Some were able to go to other homes and stay elsewhere. Some got hotels. You know, it just varied all across the board. But my question was, is did you lose your heat? And a lot of people answered yes to my question. A few answered no. Um, for us, we didn't, ours flickered on and off like a dozen times, but we never lost it till Saturday for just a couple hours when they were working on lines around us. So it wasn't really a power outage for us. We did lose Xfinity. Poor Gary couldn't watch all his weird war and western shows, you know. He had to settle for just regular TV. <laughs> Poor Gary. The thing is, he could still play on Facebook because um, we have Consumer Cellular as our main uh, phone thing. So it's still, it, what's that? Oh, yes, he did have, yeah, DVDs, yes. Speaking of DVDs, some of you may have seen this on my post, but I got to tell you if, you, if you have a DVD player and watch movies at all, you, you need to go to Walmart. I think Target might have it too um, if you shop online, Amazon, and all those weirdo places. But um, Running the Bases has been released just this last week. Running the Bases is the coolest movie ever. It is a baseball movie for all of you who are baseball fans. But it's just amazing, amazing story of faith 
of a coach who uproots his family and moves to a totally, totally different place because he's been asked to coach this really up-and-coming team. And I don't want to give the whole thing away, but let's just say he's a Christian, and that doesn't always necessarily go along with what the team and the team parents think. It is just a beautifully, wonderfully done movie. In fact, just two days ago, they won some award in some movie industry thing. They beat out that new Top Gun movie. They were up against that new Top Gun, whatever it's called, movie, Top Gun Maverick. Yeah, they beat them. So it's a good movie. Yeah, I love it. So anyway, I have a lot of names in here. Not all of them are here. I know that for a fact. If they're not here, then sadly they do not win. But let's see. Do I have, oh, I have one in my hand and one stuck to my shirt, my, my sweater. The one in my hand doesn't need it. It's Gary. So. <laughs> but he did answer the question. So we'll go with the one on my sweater, which is Michael, and he didn't make it tonight. He won last week, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, let's try again. How about Tina? Come on up, Tina. Come on. No, no, no. I have a choice for you here. These were donated to give tonight. These are lava stones. One says faith and the other one says bless. So whichever one. All right. There you go. And I might give that one, the other one away another week. You know, they're beautiful stones. And thank you to the person who donated them. So let's do one more for my thingies back here. How about John R. that I can't say his name? All I have left are Twix, so have Twix popcorn. Go for it. Let's get rid of this. He is not here. She is not here. Whoops, I dropped it back in there. Well, I'll know if I get it again. A multi-winner, Melissa, where'd she go? She left? Oh, my goodness. Well, I know she was sitting there a few minutes ago. How about Lisa? Did she, is she still here? Did, did Lisa go? There she, nope, she's up there. Come on, Lisa. I was going to say, <laughs> these lights are blinding. <laughs> It's popcorn. It can't hurt too much. Just don't eat the Twix part. <laughs> one more. I got one more Twix to give away. I want to be done with these. Tiffany, are you here? Tiffany, I know, is here. <laughs> so Michael won last week. Tiffany wins this week. Have you won before? Or did Desi win? All of, all of you have won? Wow. A lucky family. Okay. Well, there is that. So... Again, and some of the people in here is really, I loved seeing it. They answered for other people that didn't have Facebook, but they had talked to them and let them know the question. So that is something you can definitely do. What's that? No, that's fine. Thank you, honey. Appreciate it. Um, is, if you don't have Facebook, talk to someone that does. Have them read you the question. Give them an answer. And when they reply, just say, I'm replying for and give them the name, give me their name, and what their answer is. Okay? Simple as that. So the next one up, woohoo! Feed the Bottle, Feed the Baby starts next week. Next Tuesday, there will be baby bottles up here. Blue for girls and purple for girls, right? That's how it works? Yeah? Yep. Yeah. No, it's not. Why do you keep saying I'm wrong, Matthew? <laughs> All right. No, that'll never happen. <laughs> so here's the thing. Center for Women, which we have been do donating this money for, um, we've been doing it all these years, probably about 15-plus years we've been doing this. 
they have built a brand new building this last year. It's um, right next to the, um, yeah, Jackson County Medical Care Facility. And uh, they were in a tiny little house that was hard to get up into and, and crowded rooms. And now they have a really nice building they were able to do. And Gary and I have been invited Thursday to go over for a tour after SNAP 2.0. Uh, we're going over there to tour them and uh, see a little bit more about it. And um, she may be coming to share with us. If some of you may remember, she came and shared a couple, a few years ago now. Um, she may be doing that and showing us pictures of the new facility. And, and so we're going to try and work that out for a date. And uh, she's just so pleased with how you guys have done over the years and just amazed. So um, we're going to start that next week, and it will run until the second Tuesday of May because I will give you a heads up now. You'll get a letter later, but the first Tuesday of May, we have no snap, okay? It's an election day. This is a place where people come and vote, so we can't have snap that night. Um, they won't let us in around their polling booths. I don't know why, you know. What the problem is, if they think we're going to disturb the voters or fill in for their blanks, I don't know. But anyway, so the, uh, we will not have SNAP on May 2nd. But May 9th will be the last day um, of Feed the Bottle, Feed the Babies. And then the next Tuesday might be another special night, but I'll get into that another time. Okay? So we're not going to do that tonight. So I want to go into just, um, what time is it? Ooh, we have like four minutes. I'm not running totally over. Um, praise and prayer. We have um, several people that have given me requests tonight. Um, someone who lost a spouse and, and others who are ill, some who are having um, medical issues that need prayer, awaiting the outcomes for that. Um, I talked to Travis, actually, while a lot of you were here and I was trying to talk to him. They're still trying to get his help coordinated. And so uh, we want to keep praying for Travis and Christy that that gets settled down there. I, you know, it's like I wish I could go down there and help him, but he's in Florida and I'm not. So um, uh, there's just some issues that need to be worked out. So keep praying for them. Um, we have um, one of our, our friends here is in the hospital. We want to pray for them. Um, and no, I'm not giving names because you don't need that part, okay? Um, Oh, goodness, I know I'm forgetting some. Um, a death in the uh, friend, one of our members' churches. They lost someone in their church this, this week. Um, and so that's a concerning, I guess he's a relative of the pastor even. Um, so uh, there's just lots going on. And it's like, wow, this is all like not good stuff. But we can praise God in all things. We can find those blessings. We can be thankful for so much that we do have, the families that we do have, the friends that we do have, how we, um, finally, how we survived during the power outages and the ice storms. And sometimes it may have felt like it was just surviving. I don't know how many people I talked to that said they were camping out in their own homes, you know, um, it's, uh, it's just something we can find blessings everywhere. We just need to look for them. So as we go to prayer, before I get you out of here as close to eight as possible, I just want you to praise God for something. Tell him yourself a praise, something you are thankful for. So Heavenly Father, we just come to you with hearts that are full of sometimes hurt and sorrow, being sad, and sometimes even being angry. But yet we, can, we need to push that aside and let your love in. And then we can be so thankful for the blessings that you give us, for the air that we breathe, for the clothes on our bodies, for places to stay, even with or without electricity for a time, but it just shows we can make it. We've, we've got what it takes through you. We can do all things when you give us that strength, when we turn to you. Thank you so much for how you have blessed so many people. For those, I, I know of a couple different people that the Transformers blew up and exploded right in their yards and the inside of their homes. The outlets were all just blackened. 
but their houses didn't catch fire. What an absolute blessing. Is it a hassle? Yes, of course it is for, to, to repair all that. But they didn't lose their houses. And this is, again, just looking for the good within the not so good. Help us to do that every day. Help us to keep in mind that the blessings come from you. They flow down from you, and we just need to receive them. We just need to turn those umbrellas upside down, and instead of the, the blessings falling away from them, we catch them in the umbrella, and we have them in our lives. Thank you, Lord God, for each one who had a birthday this month and for what they mean to you and what they mean to us. Forgive my forgetful heart, Lord. <laughs> I thank you again for each one that's here, for everyone who helped in any capacity whatsoever tonight. And there's so many ways that we have helpers here that get us through this night. Thank you for the loving, smiling faces of our members. Thank you for their lives. Be with us now as we go through this next week. Help us for whatever the weather brings this weekend, whatever they're saying, whatever it is that we make it through. And thank you, even as a, a, not an afterthought, but just coming to my mind for all those linemen everywhere that helped put this town back together. Thank you, Lord, for them and what they went through in the cold and the rain and the, the, it just, just the scariest of jobs. Thank you for them. We give you the praise in all things, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you guys. Make sure you take care of any of your trash, please. I love you too. Be careful now.